Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Make sure you like, you comment, and subscribe. Now, for those of you who remember and have been tuning in, I did report that Benet was asked by her followers whether or whether or not she would meet up with TJ, and it appears that they actually followed through. As you can see, they did go live recently, and they were together, so I'm guessing we should be looking out for a lot of content from the two of them. Guys, as usual, let me know how you feel about this in the comment section down below. Were you expecting this to happen are you happy that they've actually linked up and where do you really see them going with this like do you think that there's a possibility of bunny and tj getting back together let me know how you feel in the comment section down below so recently, Brooklyn was actually put in the hot seat by Misty and she was asked a very messy question, guys. She was asked who she thought was the most ugly out of three people and one of those people was Benet. Now, she actually chose Benet as the most ugly and she actually followed up and said that ugly doesn't have to mean by looks alone. It could also mean your personality. Let me roll the clip. That's your one by Okay, day. give me like three people and I can tell okay. you who's the ugliest. Do you know Nadia? Mm hmm. Okay, so Nadia, Benet, and Yanni. <laughs> I would have to go with um, Benet. Ugly don't just mean like your, ugly. your looks. Like, maybe you can be pretty, <laughs> but your attitude and everything could just be ugly and just You're make you so ugly. You know what I'm saying? So. I just feel like that was a very messy question. I just feel like there was no right or wrong way to answer that without it being messy. But I can also see that there is a bit of tension there between the two of them, guys. But as always, let me know how you feel about what she said when it comes to Benet being unattractive, whether it's her personality or her physical appearance, guys. Because in my opinion, I think she's a really dope, down-to-earth girl, as far as I can tell. But let me know how you feel about it in the comment section down below. So guys, Jazz recently went out of the country to Colombia to get her teeth done. But what we didn't know is that she actually took her little boo, India, with her. Now, it did seem like an accident that she was caught on camera, but her face can actually be seen in frame when Jazz was moving the camera. <laughs> oh my gosh, he was just landing in Fort Lauderdale. Ski. Man, we sitting here trying to get off the plane. And go get me something to eat, bro. Four minute drop ahead. And Bush kicked my ass, y'all. Did me dirty. All right, y'all. I just made it to Fort Lauderdale. So it would appear that Jazz and India are still going strong. She seemed to have used this trip as a little vacation for the two of them, especially after all of the drama that hit the net a couple weeks ago. Now, if you guys haven't been keeping up to date, make sure you check the last uploads that I have done because we covered all of the drama with Fo, Amar, Maya, everybody, Crystal. It's all included in there. But as always, guys, let me know how you feel about Jazz and India still hanging out and hooking up even after everything that has happened. I did tweet not too long after Jazz touched down. I living my close friends now i had to boot some hoes out i'm guessing she was out there living her best life because not too long she tweeted again and said i'm so drunk this is horrible she also deleted this tweet i'm guessing she was trying to keep it very private and under wraps so that no one would put two and two together as you could see she just said that she's gonna keep her life in her close friends guys so she ain't playing but it didn't take us long to put two and two together especially since jazz slipped up and her face was caught on frame now india did state before that she did not claim jazz she is not out here claiming jazz so i'm guessing when she says single life is the best life she actually does mean that i'm guessing maybe they're just spending time together getting to know one another but going out the country is something that like couples do guys but do let me know how you feel about all of this in the comment section down below as usual guys i just feel like <laughs> this is a step in a more you know, solidified direction, if you understand what I mean. Now, this has to be the season of meetups because Maury and Lena have linked up, guys. The gang is coming back together again. Like, I'm so happy to see it. I really am. I'm really excited for the content that these two are going to be dropping. A lot of people, obviously, are going to be shipping the two of them because they were posted up in matching suits, guys. And I think that was just for promotion. I think they were just promoting someone's brand, okay? Let's not get carried away. But let me know how you feel about this link up, guys. I think this is the highlight 
of today's video because i'm really happy to see everybody getting back on the same page and getting back together i really hope that we get to see more of this moving forward but guys let me know how you feel about them linking up again guys after so long as always leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below so in a recent video debo actually got vulnerable and actually opened up about brooklyn and how he felt about her he did actually mention that she was the only girl who ever understood him and that he would be open to having a sit down with her he did actually clear up the speculation about the problems that he had with brooklyn having something to do with his relationship that he had with benet he actually let us know that none of them had anything to do with one another so a lot of y'all may be thinking that i fell out <clears throat> with her because of the situation that i had with benet I'm gonna let y'all know right now, that is not true. Both of those situations have literally nothing to do with each other. Like, there was no reason. But that's not the reason I fell out with Brooklyn. It's nothing like that. Like, both of the situations I had is, don't get, they don't got nothing to do with each other. If I would be open to talk, I'm not gonna lie, I mean, but, you know, people, we, we both are growing. We're getting older, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you never know, people might have a different perspective on the whole situation, because I have a different, different perspective on the situation. So you never know, bro. Um, I probably will be open to talk it, but for real, for real, it's, uh, I'm, really, I'm really just trying to move forward, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> I see everybody doing that thing. I'm proud of. You know what I'm saying? Uh, for real, you was like one of the only girls that really understood me. You know what I'm saying? I was gonna tell you to keep doing your thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. But as usual, guys, let me know what you think about what he said in the comment section down below. Are you here for a Brooklyn and Debo link up? Are you here for them getting back together? All right, because they had known each other for so long, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section about all the topics we discussed. And as usual, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.